later, just uh, been up a few hours just working on me and getting myself together. Um, I'm actually boiling some Ethiopian uh, gold coffee right now. It's made not to drink, but the way they cure it is for enemas. So I'm getting ready to do a Ethiopian. That's the best coffee. You don't want to buy coffee out of the grocery store. You want to go to a health food store or you want to look at, I'm, I'm telling you, the best coffee because they started growing it, not in Colombia, but in Ethiopia. They grow the best coffee in Ethiopia. And this coffee I got is Ethiopian coffee made for you to do an enema with. So that will help because I had so much antibiotic and I've taken it so long. Dealing with skin issues and skin infections and stuff for so long. Um, it literally ruined my gut. And I'm having to build up my gut flora. But the uh, Ethiopian coffee will help uh, alkaline my, my guts. Um, to help to soothe them and calm them down. Because since I've been home the past couple of weeks, I've had a lot of bubble guts. It's been awful. And been very difficult to eat. I literally have to eat small amounts of very soft things because of all of the um, antibiotics. Um, so I've had to take it real, real easy. And so that's why now I, I got the Ethiopian coffee delivered. I'm simmering it now. I'm just laying here taking a break right quick. And so I want to talk to y'all a minute because I feel a little bit... Uh, dizzy or queasy so i probably gotta flush some stuff out. i'm sure i feel much better i'll come back and let you know i don't remember the video i don't know where i put the video at but i said something about martin luther king and coretta scott king i mentioned them several times coming here with nipsey and malcolm but i also mentioned dexter king the i think the youngest child dexter king and that they were having family problems in fighting Within there, Dexter and Bernice King and Yolanda, I think I did it. I mentioned that because I think Yolanda King died, what, a year or two ago since I've been doing Nipsey readings. Yolanda King died. And I kept saying it was problems with Dexter and that Dexter was part of the booted lay and undercover going with white men. And in that scientific, Scientology cult, um, stealing money from the king of state. Uh, one time there was a real big problem and Bernice King uh, got tired of it. Reverend Bernie King that used to be over there with Eddie Long and Bernie King hurried up and got the fuck on when Eddie Long came out messing with them boys over there and flying them boys around the world uh, on them private jets and going back and forth to Africa and shit and messing with them boys over there at Mohaw and uh, in the gay club and you know they call him daddy. I'm calling you daddy. Yeah, that they daddy. It along one of them boys call him daddy. I know because I ran into some of the gay boys. I talked to them and he paid for their tuition and they kept their mouth quiet. They might have opened their mouth and opened their cheek and cheek, but they kept their mouth quiet. God damn it, when somebody asked them about it. Now look, let me say right quick. This is AKT Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. I'm a psychic medium. I do tarot readings as well. So what I am saying, I'm seeing in the spirit. Some of this has been verified in the media, though. If you go back and check the news reels, or if you go back and check the old news, they have had problems with Dexter Kang. And I'm going to say another thing. One thing about this, and I'm going to keep it moving because I really don't care. And I won't be dealing with younger, chronologically younger women anymore. And it's really sick that a lot of black women like to fight each other based on age, based on your period, based on your size, based on your color, based if you can get pregnant or not. I mean, this shit is ridiculous. And and when you can't, when they can't find nothing else, they act like they love you to death and want to be all up under you and admire you and hang at your house and run errands for you and make sure you have what you need and get well. And then as soon as they get mad, you're old bitch. When they can't find nothing else. Now the age is a difference. And the age is a tool of war or to insult or degrade or, or minimize a woman's power, beauty, and value. If they're chronologically younger, then all of a sudden you're better 
because another woman is chronologically older. Now you've achieved nothing in life and you have nothing to offer the public but want to destroy me, lie on me, try to erase me from the planet, wish death on me, try to destroy my character, tell people don't donate, don't support me. Oh yeah, and hit my cash up, make it goddamn clap. Because see, that's another reason why I'm not going to come back and do the stuff I did and constantly just tell you, tell you shit, and you beg for information from me, and you look for other psychics, and you come up and listen to what I say, and then you don't donate. I, I can't, I cannot do that anymore in 2024. Y'all, y'all not going to fucking play on me and take advantage of me. The ones that support, I know the ones that support, and but those are not a whole bunch. In comparison to the people, especially since I've been sick and had to have surgery, you really haven't donated and supported me at all. And I'm I'm going to remember that. So don't don't be emailing me, don't be texting me, don't be putting comments. We love you, this and that. Where you been? How you doing? Why don't you come back? But don't even offer me a dime. Don't don't donate, but you're so worried about me. You concerned about how I'm doing? It takes money to eat, to live, to make sure I, I have what I need medically. I'm just not going to keep, I'm, I'm not that person no more. Y'all have changed me a lot, honey. Not the ones that support me, but, but the chronologically women that are younger. But many of you don't look younger. You're bigger than me. Fat ass face, fat long stomach, fat long hanging elephant title shape ass, ass long down, sliding down the back of your damn leg. Wearing one X and two X goddamn draws. But want to come try to fight me and tell lies on me. Yeah, oh, bitch, you crip, bitch. Ain't nothing cripple over here. Ain't nothing broke. Ain't nothing been replaced over here. That's all you can find. I mean, I'm just, I, I think about all this and I'm, I'm disgusted. And and what why I'm bringing it up right now, too, is because this lady that said she knew Nipsey, that's a rapper that was on Tasha K's show, said that uh, Nipsey set her up to get her ass beat by Big U. Got mad because of my readings and then came over here and I approved the comment. I wanted all of you to see it. I wanted her to stand by it. Be ten toes down on it. Because I don't give a fuck about it. Especially when I look up, she fat as hell too. I don't know what her chronological age is. But she damn sure by five or ten times got damn bigger than me. And I don't know how young she is, but you're not that young, dear. Especially looking like that. Probably what, maybe 30s. Look like she's pushing her goddamn 40s. But those are the ones that always want to say some shit about me. And then when I look about my ages, if you are above me, because you're chronologically younger. It doesn't make you above me at all. And then she made comments about my accent. You talk like an old slave. Okay, it's a choice that I when I go into my deep southern drawl, because I'm proud of being from the south. I'm not ashamed of being from the South. I know how to enunciate. I know how to use my words correctly. I know how to speak correct English when I when I have to. But if I choose to be slanged out, I choose to be thugged out. I choose to use Ebonics. That's what I want to do. And you're not going to embarrass me by saying that. But I may be country. Maybe older than you, but I am still the truth, bitch. I am still the truth. So y'all, that, that's all you got for me? Because if I died right now and left the planet, especially the one that was stalking me, that got a 12-month restraining order on her, and it hasn't been over here that knows not to pull that shit on me, you really think if I died right now, and because I'm physically older, that you can't compete with me and you could replace me just because you're 47 you're not young dear you're, you're middle-aged but even so in the 47 years that you've lived and the time i've been on the planet because what i know with vagina power i was speaking this in my early 30s when i started out uh people tv public access and was speaking it in my 20s i was born this way like lady gaga I seen your rap sheet. People seen mine. Because if you, you pay to do a background check on me, you will not find a criminal rap sheet. But you've seen the vagina power, the AKT celebrity reads, the hair and skin foams. I was female pattern baldness. Hair at the top of my head, all the way to the back middle of my goddamn head. Hair at the front of my head. Baby hair's missing. And bitch, I grow my, excuse me, your younger ones. You know, 
I grew all that back. It's still growing in. Got some shorter spots. Had to cut it. But the, but the point is, hair is on the top of my goddamn head, bitch. And round the side of my goddamn it head. And my hair on the top of my goddamn head. And my hair all over my goddamn body is black. Not black. Black. And I grow the all way back. Not back. Back. So, you're saying you're better than me, you're smarter than me, all these other bitches over here telling me they psychics, they can read, they're younger than me, this and that, you know, she has been telling me, but you focus on the has been, you talk about the has been, you wish death on the has been, you didn't want the has been to get out of the hospital alive, yeah, she on her last leg, yeah, she on her way out, yes, bitch, on my way out the hospital, bitch, checked out with a clean bill of health, that's what the fuck drips do, see, when you become the crone, when you become the hag, the heavenly ascended goddess, you don't look well out and oh. But bitch, remember the game is so bitch and not to be told. I'm not telling, I'm not reaching out. I'm not mentoring no hungry younger bitch that claim you love me, respect me, and then you give me your ass to kiss. No, I'm done. I don't, I don't want no, I don't learn my lesson, honey. And I have relieved myself of the desire to try to heal somebody in a way that I wasn't healed and be that way that nobody wasn't there for me. But you can't touch me, bitch. Just like MCM, you cannot touch me. So, so the one, yeah, she also made the comment. And what's funny is my sister Mina went over there and looked at comments under her interview with Tasha K. And she said, it's funny. She called you names and that's, that's cause you can't get nothing else. It's always, Oh, and you, you got a slave accent. I'm proud of that. I was watching underground the other day. I got so addicted to that shit. I couldn't stop watching. I watched two seasons by three, four goddamn day, all day, all night. And I'm in love with Harriet Tubman because Harriet Tubman also came in here with Nipsey. Finding the gold, looking for the golden gourd and the song they made and, and, and the wolf will take you up. She talking about astrology, astronomy, and numerology, goddamn it. She talking about the big dip and the little dipper. You know, she an old bitch too. But see, I like to listen to them because they the one that got the supreme knowledge and nobody could catch her. None of them white slaveholders that made it legal to all it was was sex trafficking and human trafficking for political and financial gain, suppressing the soul and selling the years of the life that belonged to another. Selling infants, human sacrificing, hanging them, burning them, consuming their flesh, keeping body parts, selling babies, fucking them. Soon as they come out they ass or white women have a half, half black babies cutting they throat, letting them bleed out, sacrificing they parts, consuming they flesh. That's all it is. Satanic human sacrifice, eating humans, keeping a certain body parts, doing occult magic sciences on them. They learned from the black women that were slaves, but that were also teachers, even royalty and kings and queens that spoke their own language in their own tongue, knew the top agricultures, the top scientists, the top mathematicians and the top occult voodoo priests and priestesses. That's usually who they had in Massa House and up there cooking that goddamn food because a lot of them were poisoning them motherfuckers and giving my, uh, making herb for abortion, abortions for slaves and abortions for white women. And fucking they ass up. And a lot of them white women was paying them black women to do spells on their husbands or any competitor or anybody come over there for dinner and setting their ass up. I, I see a total difference now. It was a big form of a multi-billion dollar property right now. Trillion dollar corporation of flesh peddling, sex trafficking, human consumption, blood consumption, human sacrifice to gain wealth, knowledge, and longevity and regenerate themselves off of the blood of the so-called black slave. That many were really blue blood royalty. That's who controlled the English royal kingdom, the blue bloods, the Moors, the blacks. And then they got in like they did in Egypt, bled them out, fucked them, laid up with them, whitewashed them out and killed them. And left the ones that want to be slaves and left the ones that, that want to be slave hunters. Niggas hunt niggas. Black bitches attack black bitches. 
stack them on the top of each other. So you got the young and you pit them against the old. So one is menstruating. One period don't stop. You put one on top of the other. So they bleed down on the ones that ain't bleed. And you create dissension and enmity between them. As they say in Genesis with Satan and Adam. Man, woman, and Adam, the, the serpent, you could create enmity between them. Did this on purpose to create the division. And I see this in these younger black women today as if you have something to tell me, to teach me. The only thing you want to teach me is that I'm going to stay the fuck away from you and I ain't got nothing to tell you. I'm not letting you around me no motherfucking more. And uh, you don't have the wisdom and the knowledge to elevate me, fill my space, kill me, or take my goddamn place. I saw all of it. Yeah, this is what she get. That's why she in the hospital for doing people dirty. I ain't did nobody dirty. I don't fuck with people. Just because some somebody's sick and something happens to them doesn't mean everybody's sick done something dirty to somebody. You probably did something to them and did spells them and try to kill them and take them out of here. And set them up because you're jealous of them. You don't like them. Or they're nice to you. And you tell them giving you money. So you want to take everything from them. Yeah, things like that. But you're not doing that to me. You're not doing that to drip. Oh, yeah, I saw it. And I heard about it. Yeah, she she in there. She finna go down now. She finna die now. Bitch. It ain't a bitch bone. Not born. Bone. Bone and bread, bitch. To take me out of here. I'm going to leave this mother unless I let you, God damn it, do it. So like them country folks say, not you better. You, 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 it's better for you to move on. You best to leave me the fucking alone. Stop fucking with me. Because I ain't leaving this motherfucker until I get finished. Until I say so. And I'm not letting down one of you near me. No more. So that, that shit didn't hurt my motherfucking feeling, bitch. The reading stands. Nipsey said you a thief. And I don't care what y'all say. Anytime you are not a civilian, you're dealing with that world. You owe dudes in any gang, uh, any church, huh, any Masonic temple, any Girl Scout club, goddammit, any lawyer's club, any doctor's club, any actor's club, an actor gear. All y'all going to pay your fucking dues to master, goddammit. You're going to pay the piper and get your actors called. All that's dues every goddammit year. You will pay your dues in the game. She's fucking with Big U. And man, you know, a couple of people looked at it. She done had some type of sexual intimate relationship with Big U. It's been some type of contact. And she said, I ain't never fucked him. You a lying bitch, you old bitch. I'll be that. I will be that because I am magnificent, bitch, in my age, uh, my oldness, bitch. <laughs> it has made me a grand diva, the grand hag that will never gray and look old for you motherfuckers. Now I might go through some shit down and out there. I was looking rough, goddammit, but bitch, I know how to regenerate myself. And just because you are chronologically older don't mean your body have to age and break down. Shit, you know, I feel like throwing my pussy for the New Year's on my sidewalk. How many people want to see me throw my goddamn pussy on the sidewalk and say, hell yeah. I'm like, like Stone Cold Steve Austin. How many of you want to see it say, fuck yeah, goddammit. Because I'm, I'm, I've been regenerated, goddammit. I've been renewed. I've been brought alive, goddammit. And vagina power time in this bitch. And ain't none of these bitches chronologically younger than me can talk it, walk it. Sang it, say it, teach it. Like that old song, walk it like I talk it. Talk it like I walk it. Walk it like I talk it. You can't walk and talk it like drill. You can't walk and talk it like me. I don't give a fuck if you 25 or 33. You can't walk it like I talk it. It ain't never been another me, bitch. It ain't been one before me and it won't be after me. Ain't none of you young bitches taking me out of here. And you can't walk it like I talk it. Never. Because if you could have, you would have done it before I did it. And you would have done it during the time I did it. And you would have done it after I did it. And you would have been prepared for your first goddamn sermon when you said that a month ago I
I was on a damn deathbed. Because of the death spells you did. And the death spell I seen Jamila Briscoe do live on YouTube. I think she's taking it down. She need to reload it so all y'all can see her handiwork and how she failed to kill the goddamn drip queen. Bitch, for 2004, I'm a lean, mean, goddamn vagina power pussy throwing sex machine, bitch. You must not know about me. Give a fuck what you hoes say. Oh, and Cripple, you think I give a fuck about that? You don't mean nothing to me. Your words don't mean nothing to me. Your thoughts don't mean nothing to me, bitch. Because all these fumblers I done created over here, bitch. And done created new ones since I got out of the hospital, bitch. And a stupid, fat, goddamn it, jug head, goddamn it, elephant built, bitch. Come said she trying to put her hand on me, but ain't got that motherfucking dripology. And ain't with that AKT drip squad and ain't got the nerve to put a fucking hand on me. Since then, I have created more dripology to make my make me throw my pussy like I'm 13 years old, bitch. You know what got that shit? Oh, ah, I'm laying in the bed hunching. I'm just throwing my pussy in the air. I'm throwing it. But I, re I got to get it out there, goddammit. I got to get back on the sidewalk for 2024. How many of y'all want to get up here with me and throw your puss on the sidewalk, goddammit, for 2024, goddammit? Because I ain't just talking about I can goddamn do it. I want all y'all to be in vagina power. With this, this knowledge Nipsey gave me about healing your vagina and standing on your ground, claiming your territory, throwing your pussy. On your goddamn territory, goddamn it. I'm I'm here for I'm for everybody standing in vagina pop. I always have been like that, but these bitches wanna take mine. And try to say because somebody a certain age, you wanna take my shine. Bitch, you are not qualified, certified, and able to do what I do. And vagina pie has nothing to do with a chronological age. It's a state of mind. It's a science, bitch. See, you, you, you these bitches are so stupid, but you think you're smart. Just because you your chronological age don't make you smarter than me. It don't make you better than me. I am the VP general. I have earned my stripes. I ain't no talker. Oh, uh, I'm a vagina power. Oh, uh, I'm a vagina power queen. Oh, uh, I'm a vagina power general. Y'all see me. I have lived it. I've been through hell and back, and I stood it. By myself. Just like people calling me, huh? Y'all didn't even know what I was going through over here. And I'm fighting this whore in court. And I could barely get up. I could barely move. I guess some of y'all thought I was lying many days. Because I've dealt with sis like that before. Coming on my hips, coming on my side. I got them down. Legs swole. Feet swole. Can't barely move. Can't barely walk. And this nigga doing me dirt on top of it. Shit. I don't know what the fuck wrong with him. He supposed to be my ex. But I still can't goddamn it get rid of him. Because he just bought me a brand new um, double door refrigerator. Since I got the house. But he came over Friday. And I told him I don't feel good. He said I don't care. Open that door. I promise you. I'm going to get you a new refrigerator. And I'm going to keep my word. The, the people's coming up here. To, I'm, I'm going to the shop to pick it up. Get the boxes and stuff up out the way. And popcorn came in here and moved them for myself. I don't feel good. I uh, y'all gonna tear my house and throw stuff around. You know how y'all niggas are. Y'all ain't like women just throw shit to get the stuff in the way and and strategically get it there and go on. And I'm left with a mess. We ain't gonna make no mess. You can come down. There. I was so upset with him. And I'm just like, just let me rest. Hey Tina. Hey sweet baby. And uh, he is about five or six niggas down there. Got down. They came from the company. And uh. Popcorn and moved, measured it, came measured it first, and then left. And then when it gets, it's, I paid for it, they finna bring it up here. But then when they put it in there, it's not completely in there because it's too big. So now they gotta come back, cut the um wall on the other side over there, and push it back in there. But so what I was gonna say, I said that to say, I was trying to make a point. Yeah, like you, you, you can't erase me and say you're better than me or that you know more than me because because drip is still throwing pussy, bitch. I'm still in my power because it's not about a chronological age. It's about the quantum mind. 
And your dumb bitches don't, clearly don't know nothing about that. But you think you do. So because you're chronologically younger, that gives you more wisdom than me. That gives you more knowledge than me. That gives you more power than me. So why aren't you showing it to the world? Why aren't you teaching what I'm teaching? Because you should. You think because you can suck dick and you pussy hot and you fucking you got a few children? That make you better than me? That make you more woman than me? Just because you're younger, that make you the level of woman than me? Bitch, I have survived the worst things in life. Well, people counted me down and counted me out. I have earned my title and I didn't want to earn it. But many times you are faced with things in the way you are born and whoever ass you come out of, that shit is stamped on you and that is your karma. And you cannot change that shit. I cannot change the mother I was given. I cannot change the father I was given. I cannot change the circumstances. I cannot change my, my childhood. So now I am still going backwards, learning to deal with that and see that perspective totally different. Changing my mindset, changing my emotions, changing my personality to stand in my power so I don't keep repeating what I don't want to repeat. And that I don't keep getting the same dirty bitches around me that I've been motherfucking getting. I had to deal with me. And during this rest time and being in the hospital, it's like I said, yeah, point I was making. When I was telling y'all and I was fighting this stupid bitch who just wanted to fight me, who just kept on and kept on. Because younger bitches sometimes seem to think they're smarter than someone because a, a woman, because a woman's older than them. And you want to disrespect and devalue the woman because she's chronologically older than you. And you think you can disrespect her and violate her and use her and abuse her and then beat her ass mentally, emotionally, spirit, legally, and financially. This lady was threatening to take my house, to, to get a judgment against me, to get money from me. First, she said I didn't own one. Now you say I own one. Now you're suing with Cardi B's lawyer, and, and you're going to take that. I doubt it. Not let me tell you. Let me, let me sit up. Tell your motherfucking ass something. Ain't none of you bitches, especially ain't none of you younger ones. I don't give a fuck about you being younger. You don't intimidate me. You don't pump no fear in my heart because you younger and your ass is fat and you can suck a dick. I don't care how, how, how cute you are. I don't care how pretty you are. I don't care how light you are. I don't care how dark. None of that shit matters to me, bitch. And will none of you ever, not never, come into my life and take nothing from me. That I had to earn with my blood, my sweat, and my tears and years of my life that I cannot go back and get back. You're not going to determine what the future is going to be for me. You're not going to determine what the future is not going to be for me. Just because you don't like me or you mad because you couldn't do what you wanted to do to me. Or you want to take something from me or take advantage of me. And I wouldn't let you do it. And I don't fuck with you no more. You think you finna come in my life and dismantle my life and destroy my life and take what I earned. What I lived for. What I fought to stay alive for just because you fucking want to because you younger than me. Bitch, you got life all the way fucked up and you definitely got drip all the way fucked up, bitch. Now, you will be dripping leaving over here, but it won't. You know, now, now. It might not. You might not be dripping what you want to be dripping. But you don't let you try to do that again and put your hand on me. You'll be dripping you, what you don't want to be dripping. But see, you know, nobody has had the nerve to do that. Now, you, you, you pulled up because you had the, the nigga and his wife next door. And you had your little buddies that don't like me because you made sure to brag to the judge. Everybody that don't like Alexis, I'm friends with all of them. I'm not the first lady she did. Like, yeah, get you the fuck away from me. That, that's all I did. And that ain't a crime. Get you the fuck away from me. Any bitch is stupid. I don't care how old you are and you'll commit a crime against yourself to be kind and nice and generous and keep bitches around you that don't mean you no good and wishing death on you. Oh, the kindest thing I could have done got this fucker out of my life. And the way she responded and the dirty shit she did and all the lies she told and had to make it public to try to humiliate and degrade and embarrass me definitely tells me I was right to get the fuck away from you and get you the fuck away from me. Anytime somebody does that to you one time, make it the last time. Me being who I am, 
And all these dirty things have happened to me, even starting with my own fucking mother, doing everything you could to dismantle and destroy the life of somebody you gave birth to and meeting women just like that and keep meeting younger women that want to do that to me. And I won every time. And then almost dying in the process because I wanted to fight. And I knew I could. And I knew my spirits told me I wasn't getting ready to die. Yes, I pushed that envelope as far as I can push it in. Check my ass in the goddamn hospital. But I had to let her motherfucking know. And I had to let everybody else know that I knew and I know now we're pushing her stupid ass up to do it. And I had to let anybody else know to talk about somebody's old and crippled. Ain't nothing crippled over here. Yes, I'm kind of like you older, but I ain't no old oh, whoa out bitch. I'm more in shape than this bitch is. I came over trying to claim she's going to fucking take my life from me. That wasn't happening either. If my life was taken from me, it was because I, I died being sick. I tell you that. I died from an infection, but I bet you one thing, I won't die at the hand of a younger bitch that says she came over here to take my life from me. I got some of these tapes now. I think I'm going to release them for y'all to, to see them. I, something I didn't hear. Some of my, my other really good followers that have got a really good eye, a really good ear. To hear the things they know are illegal. And they stripped the long video she made down to those particular points. When I was in the hospital a few weeks ago, I was looking at it. I hadn't seen it. She was on the other side while she was threatening me in the street and was too scary to come up on the steps and hit me. She was saying... This is your last night, bitch. You remember this day, bitch. And this is, these are things I'll never get out of my mind. You remember this day, bitch. You remember this day, bitch. Because you are about to expire. In a few hours, you are about to expire. Basically letting me know she's going to take my life from me. Laughing the break while the fat ass guy next door is laughing. She can only do this shit with her buddies encouraging her. Because a real bitch is going to do that to you. She don't talk like that. She don't say that kind of shit. Ain't no audience around. You, you, they do what they got to do and catch you off. Go, you don't even know they coming. They do what they got to do to you. They don't talk shit and they gone. When you're trying to figure out who the fuck did it or you might suspect who did it, you don't fucking know because a real gangster bitch move like that. And so they don't, they don't get a whole audience and put a film on. and all. I mean, it, 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 it was a theatrical fiasco for her and basically let me see what I need to know you want to bring me down and shame me and make people lose respect for me and then try to come up off of it and want people to admire you and look at you and respect you and turn on me but why would you do that to a old raggedy handicapped crippled bitch that you said nobody's looking at anyway if they're because if they have no value because of their age and they don't have the 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 physical veracity and tenacity to move around and do what they need to do, why would you want to shame them in the public and take their life from them for everybody to see it if they're nothing and nobody because they're old? Standing there more fit than you. I'm just, I, you know, these women, I'm done. I've had so many women do that to me. And I've seen younger women do that to so many other older women that you have made me a believer. But I am the general of this shit. And ain't nobody taking me off my throne. Ain't nobody knocking me off of it. Because you can't imitate me. You can't duplicate me. You can't even conceive my mindset because your mindset is too low and you're a dummy and ignorant, not ignorant, ignorant as fuck. I had to move through that shit with nobody. And I, I came to peace with it. When I said that and somebody came in the, uh, I said I was fighting her and I had to, the judge gave her a two, took a two hour recess because she ran out of the court and refused to come back. When the judge was getting ready to play all of the tapes, the audios, the texts and the PDFs that I have submitted, I have submitted almost 82 pieces of documents of evidence to prove my case. She submitted, she said what, one or two to prove I was obsessed with her and threatening her. I had almost a hundred 
pieces. That's how hard I worked and I was sick as hell with a big abscess the size of a baseball hanging out of my fucking the top of my ass. Hurting, red, aching. I'm vomiting. I'm having diarrhea for two weeks. I cannot eat. I can barely sleep. I'm passing out. I fainted on my stuff. Goddamn, this judge doesn't know that I'm sick. This bitch don't know that I'm sick. And I ain't gonna give you the satisfaction of knowing. I put, did my hair, put my wig, put my makeup on and shit. Sitting there looking flawless. You couldn't even tell I was sick. I couldn't even eat. I had to just keep from falling out. And when she, I sat there from like eight, nine that morning, she, she recessed at one. Had to wait three to three o'clock. Two hours went by. Three o'clock. In between that time, I'm trying to get up. I drank a collagen drink or something. It immediately, my stomach started bubbling. It knocked the bottom out of my stomach. I'm trying to get up and walk to the steps. I fainted standing up. I just saw my body and I felt it going straight forward. Like you see somebody being shot or being killed while they're standing up and their body falls whoosh, forward and they cannot stop it because they're not conscious. The only thing I could think of doing something told me, put your hand up in front of your face because I was falling right on the edge of the bottom of my steps. And I knew if I had done that, and woke up, I would have had to get plastic surgery in the face because it would have torn my whole fucking side of my face. And I said, nah, them hoes would be too happy to see that. Bitch, put your elbow up. I put my forearm up when I was like a few inches away from the steps. I woke up a few minutes later. I said, bitch, get up and go upstairs. This ain't going to stop you. You ain't going to say nothing. You ain't going to tell the judge to let you change this, reschedule this. You ain't going to let her know you sick, bitch. Get your ass up. I crawled up them goddamn steps. I was on my knees. I was bending over, crawling with my hands and fucking feet. Crawling up them steps. Get up there. Got in that bathroom. Used the bathroom. Cleaned myself up. I said, damn, why is my elbow wet? I pulled my sleeve back. Elbow bust to the white meat. I'm talking about, and I said, wow, if that was my face, it would have been over. Cleaned it, opened it up, washed it all the way down in that white meat. I'm country, so I wash my, even though it's real deep, I wash my with hot water and dial soap, goddamn that old yellow soap. Washed it all the way down in there, dealt with the sting, put some goddamn peroxide alcohol in that motherfucker and stitched that motherfucker up. See, I know how to do shit like that. I put my own stitches in my goddamn arm, um, bent it over and sewed the best I could. And put some surgical strip on there and pull that motherfucker clothes. You can't even really tell now. It's a little bit raised because my skin, I deal with keloid skin. I'm going to get that keloid down with them acids and creams I got. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to probably take a picture today before and after. Y'all going to see it now. Watching a few months. It ain't going to even look like nothing was goddamn it there. I did that. I said, fine. I'm too dizzy to stand up. And when I think I had told y'all what I was going through, somebody said uh, in the... In the uh, Comments, Alexis, that's staff. You got staph infections that's running through your whole body. You better get your ass to the hospital. You're going to die. I said, no, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. And I had to, because I had, I had to do that. She came in. Judge came back in. Uh, this motherfucking bitch that was stalking me still had not come back. She realized she wasn't going to come back because she, she did not want to. She just said I was stalking her. And that I was obsessed and won't leave her alone. Now the judge was going to see really who was who was stalking who. She couldn't take it. Like a coward, she ran. Didn't come back in now. And I sat there. I didn't let the judge. I didn't say nothing. I just smiled and put my makeup and stuff back on. Put my lip, got my lipstick and stuff together. I didn't I didn't tell the judge what had happened to me. And um, we, she said, let's go over your case again. I dismissed hers, but I'm still not sure I want to give you yours. So let's go over yours for me to decide if I'm going to also dismiss you or am I going to give you your restraint? I said, yes, your honor. And I just uh, had to sit on the floor calmly. Listen, and she said, tell me again. I'm going to ask you again. Went over everything again. Yes, your honor. And I'm trying to breathe so she don't know that I'm struggling over here. <laughs> you know, but I'm, I'm alive. So that's all that matters to me. Is that I can still breathe and fight another day. I don't tell y'all and the ones that have followed me from the beginning years ago. This is Sparta. This is 300 in this bitch. You need to watch the movie 300. You need to watch Russell Crowe Gladiator because that's what I am. 
That's the old school fabric that I'm made for the way my grandmother raised me. I don't care if y'all believe me or not. It don't matter to me. You ain't got to believe me, but I will show you if you fuck with it. Like she found out. Oh, she's Alexis has met her match now. I'm going to destroy her. I'm going to make her famous. She don't know who she fucking with. She going to learn today. She's finally met somebody. You're not, you're not on my level. You're not on my level. Because if somebody don't want to deal with me, I'm going to stop dealing with you. I'm not going to stalk you. I'm not going to harass you. I'm not going to get out in public and tell a whole bunch of lies on you. The same lies that everybody else has told that you know me personally, but you still can't prove them. For instance, she said, I have cuts in my face. I have cuts all around my face because I've had a facelift and plastic surgery. I've never had a fucking facelift. I don't have any cuts in my face. And anybody that can tell you that has met me, I put the camera up so y'all can see me. I don't have facelift and surgical cuts to the face because I've never had one. I want one. But when I get one, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah, she does Botox and yeah, she's a bleacher. Her her legs are black and 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 uh, her the top of her body's real pale. No, my legs are not black. I've shown them before. I'll show them again to you now, like, like I did tell you. And that does happen when I get infections in my skin. It's not from bleaching. I have infections and this is what happened to me this time. The abscess I had was not in my bone. It was in my skin. And that shit was systemic. And then I'm sure I probably was messed up because I was trying to massage it down. So I, it could have leaked out, but it was all over my system. Whenever that happens to me, my skin will turn darker. It will turn black and blotchy. I looked down that day. I still didn't want to go to the hospital. I hate going to the hospital. I was still trying to fight it and get it down. I looked down when I was in the kitchen trying to get a hot compress and my feet had turned jet black. They looked like they were burnt. And, and that's happened to me when I get my skin gets infected like that. But as soon as I take my antibiotics and it clears up, it lines back up. I know I'm not the only one. It's just so-called black people never heard of that. So they'll say you're lying. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. But I've talked to nurses in the medical field who have seen it. And I've talked to a few so-called other black people that know what I'm talking about. I have one of my Mexican friends. She is Mexican, but she knows she's done her DNA. She has some African blood in her. And she even told me, I didn't know because her skin is very fair. It's white white looking. She even said it happens to her when she's gotten skin infections. Her skin will turn very, very dark in certain spots until she gets the antibiotic and it heals. And I said, you too? She says, yeah, because I know the particular African genes that I have in my DNA. And um, I went upstairs. I said, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Then I looked. My neck had started turning. My face, I, my hands turned black. I went back downstairs. It was, I don't even think it was an hour later. Uh, my calf, it started like crawling up. I knew then it was in my blood. And I said, oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, fuck. I don't want to, but it looks like I'm going to have to go and they're going to have to see all this. And they saw it. They were shocked. They're like, what is going on with your skin? I said, all I can say is it has to be my skin infection because this has happened to me before. They like, they never saw it. They didn't understand that happened to somebody. And I was like, clearly y'all seen a little bit of everything. You never seen somebody's skin do this when they're infected. They're like, no, you need to go to a dermatologist. I'm like, uh, this wasn't happening until this time. You know, this happened before I got it down when I cleared the infection up. This is the worst time I've ever seen. This is the biggest abscess I've ever had. I couldn't get down. And they were just shocked. The white doctors and the black people were like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, do you think I know? I mean, I just know it's infected. Started turning. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want y'all to see this, um, but I had this, I had seen it before. I just basically, um, you know, people that lie on me would say, oh, no, that's a bleach. She just, no, I, that I was really infected. I had nothing to do with no bleach. If it did, the doctors would have said that and they wouldn't have performed surgery on me. I, the abscess, it didn't. It's just the stupid people that want to believe that and want to say that about me. She, this, the same lady was talking to me was saying the same things. And she could not prove those things. She never saw cuts on my face. Uh, she never saw black legs. She never, there's no evidence that she could prove I had facelifts, plastic surgeries, because 
I would tell you if I had it. And, and that's another thing I noticed about women that are chronologically younger. When you look better than them, or I'm not saying I look better than her, but I'm just saying other people thought so. And this lady's about 300 pounds, over 300 pounds. I've gained weight. I got to, I got to lose it. I think I'm, I'm overweight. A lot of y'all would say, no, leave it that way. But I need to lose about 25 pounds and I ain't going to get no bigger because 25 is enough. When I saw that in the women's hospital, I said, oh, no, we're going to get this off here. Goddamn, I don't, I don't like this. I got to lose about 20 pounds, 20, 25 pounds for me to, me to like it. But I ain't going to get too little because I know y'all don't like that. The old vagina power me. Y'all like the look. Yes, but you don't like the weight. Y'all like more now of the full. I had the athletic body then. I like the athletic body. A lot of you all like the woman's body I have with the titties and the ass and hips. I don't like it because I'm not that tall. Um, <laughs> so I'll try not to lose too much of it, but I, I tell you what, I'll tone it. So as I'm losing it, I'll tone it and turn it to muscle. Cause I know for the past few years I've been bigger. And then when I danced, y'all, y'all like that bouncing and them curves, you know, and that booty bouncing. <laughs> y'all make me feel so good, by the way, at my age to be able to dance like that. The one that's talking to me that says she's better than me and this and that. She can't even dance like that. She's over about 350 pounds. Um, if you're younger, you shouldn't be looking like that. And you say that you're better than me and, and I'm older than you. Uh, you would think that'd be the other way around. Like at my age, I'd be 350 and she'd be, I'm like right now, 150. So I, I want to lose about 25 pounds. I like to be between 130, 135, but that's like the 20 year ago, Alexis. When you look at me back then, you see that's, that was about one, between 130, 135. I really didn't eat much and I didn't have all the stuff coming out that's coming out now. You know, from the infections and being poisoned and all that stuff. That wasn't, you know, going on back then. It was a few years later in my 30s. So that stuff is now my body's purging and I went through a lot of help and it created a lot of inflammation. When you're sick, when you have infection, people will think you're eating and I still wasn't eating. It causes a lot of inflammation in the body and fluid in the body. So I, I, I had to work through that. And when I saw the legs doing that and somebody put in a comment saying, Alexis, it sounds like you have sepsis. You better take your ass to the hospital before you die. And one of my friends, close friends to me, she's a doctor. And she doesn't do that. She's younger. She's like 38. Bad. Just got, just graduated. Got a, she's a doctor now. Graduated like a, as a time, time I was sick. And she called me and she begged me to please go. She's like, I don't want to lose you. You, you have been such a good friend to me and like a big sister. Please don't do this. I said, why do you keep thinking that I'm not going anywhere? She said, but that's sepsis. I know that my husband did the same thing. He started turning colors and you know, her husband's white, but he started turning colors and started turning red in the face. She said, just all of a sudden he fainted in mid and went boom, straight down to the floor. And he had sepsis and his opinion, uh, appendix ruptured and he almost died. She said, he's doing the same thing you're doing. And he was turning color. He's like, Alexis, please. He almost died. This is, that's what you have. I said, okay, but I got to get this. You done got the bitch now. It was, it was a day after court and I still wouldn't go. It was two, three days after court. I still wouldn't go. I'm still trying to get it down. And she's like, you're going to have to go. You're going to have to change. Please. I know what I'm talking about. You have to say your, your blood poison. That shit done got in your blood. At that moment, I was alone. And then Mina called. And, and she's upset by the crack. And I'm like, Mina, I'm okay. I'm, you're, she said, I'm not getting off the phone until you go. It was so cold. Oh, it was so cold. I said, how am I going to get out here sick? Can't stand up. Fainting. Falling asleep. I'm like, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. And she's like, yo, you just want to take your ass to the goddamn ER. And I'm like, I don't. She's like, but you, are you going? I'm not going to leave you alone until you go. And at that point, I was like, Mina, look. Because I was in between worlds. And I'm like my mind my mind is here and it's in the underworld and I was okay with it and I said Mina look if I die you know what to do and you contact my son and you take care of my stuff that's all I care about it's okay if I go I said I'm not going but it's okay if I go no it's not and it's not I, Mina you don't you don't know where I am it's like literally in my mind I was, I was in a state of euphoria. It was okay with me because I'm, I'm coming on this side and then I'm zoning out and I'm fainting 
and I'm not really in my head too good. I'm not in my body too good. It's doing what it wants to do. I'm on the other side. It was like I literally had this anesthesia. I felt this peace. I wasn't scared. They were scared. I was like, y'all are more scared than me. It's okay. If I, if I, I'm like Tupac, if I die tonight, it's okay. But I know that ain't going to happen, but it's okay. And that's when I got to ER. Tupac is up there on that man t-shirt and they playing Hail Mary, nigga, run quick. I said, fuck. Y'all, I, I didn't, I'm not going to even call y'all. I'm just going to deal with it. Pop, Nips, and my dad, they all up in there. I said, they do not let people play CDs in the goddamn ER. They let him play. I'm walking in there like they like, yes, we here. Yo ass, we ain't ready for you down now. I'm like, but it's okay if I, no, no. <laughs> Man's like, you there? I said, girl, you ain't going to believe it. Pocket Hill, all of them, they beat me here. Going, that's something I've heard people say that in the past, but I know now when you're born, you're born by yourself. When you die, you die by yourself and you take that road. Can't nobody take it for you. Can't nobody take it with you. Even if they there with you, holding your hand, laying beside you, crying for you, snotting everywhere. They still not going through it with you. They not inside of you. They not your soul. They didn't come here. They weren't created out of the same material. Even if they are bloodline connected to you, you can't be born for nobody. You can't die for nobody. I know now what that feels like to walk that lonely road, but I wasn't lonely. Huh? To walk that scary road to know that you might be able to lose, you might die tonight, but I wasn't scared. Huh? To be alone by myself, didn't know nobody walking out there in the freezing motherfucking cold last month with no physical family because I ain't got one. Other than my son. But I wasn't alone. And you don't know what that feel like. And you'll never know. Until your time come to know. To have that experience. And to die. And come back to this motherfucker to tell it. Or for the ones that don't come back physically. And they speak it to somebody that can hear it. Or to be in between them. Where I know what it feel like. To almost die. And I knew I was playing Russian roulette with the motherfuckers. I was in the casino gambling in the underworld with my life. I knew it. But I had to get up. Now, if you ain't a real soldier. And if you ain't in training to go through the most fucked up shit in your life that everybody else might not have to go through, but you have to go through it to become great, to become a leader. You don't know nothing about that. If you were me, you'd run your ass up there whining and crying. I saw women in there crying and whining. Some women older than me crying. Begging. For the people at the front desk to please get them a doctor because they was in so much pain. I didn't cry. I didn't moan. I didn't beg. Because I know that that is my walk. Whatever I had to go through. And I didn't like that. But if I had to go through it. I was going to put my big girl panties on. And I was going to walk through it with dignity. If I had to die, I was going to die and I wasn't going to cry and I wasn't going to moan and I wasn't going to beg and I wasn't going to complain. I was going to do it my head high. But I knew I wasn't leaving here like that. I'm going to take you out there. I'm going to leave here disgraced like that. Y'all see me out dead, peeled up, fucked up, discolored. Not like that. You determine how you're born. You determine how you live. Even if your life is fucked up. You determine if you change it. And you determine how you die. And I wouldn't give a now, bitch. That did everything to destroy me. And want to see me dead. And have restraining orders on me. And take my money, my property from me. You would not have the satisfaction of seeing drip drown. You will never see drip drown. You will drown, bitch. But you will never see drip drown. Because I determined the way my life is going to motherfucking go. And I determined when I ain't going to take no bullshit from a fat ass punk bitch. No more. Fat, skinny, black, white. I don't give a fuck. 
You don't write my ending for me. You don't write my eulogy for me. You don't put me in a casket. I bury me in a goddamn urn or motherfucking Easter basket. Not me. That's what generals do. When things are hard. You have to do what's hardest and you have to look out for the other ones. Even if you don't eat, you make sure they eat. You make sure they have what they need and you lead the way. Or if you ain't going to physically be able to do it, you draw a map for them and you get the strongest one that will follow your orders and that are more loyal and dedicated to help the others while you've laid down the plan in your direction. That's what you do. You don't die, whine, crawl, cry, moan, shake, shiver. Beg for your life. Beg not to die. If you ever talk to Mina, or when she can come in this live and she tell you what I was saying, she heard me call my ancestors because I knew I had to leave the house in a bitter cold and I wanted to get there safely. I talked to them and I prayed, but she never, if she would tell you the truth and I give her permission to tell you the motherfucking truth, don't lie for me. I never cried to her. I never moaned. I never pleaded. I said, I don't want to die like this, though. Not on an ambulance, not in a street, not fucked up, blotched up like this. I will die with my dignity. I will not die because a bitch don't like me and you did black magic to bring death upon me and humiliation. That is a form of degradation to see a bitch disfigured and dismantled and discolored. Dad, you won't do that to me. And if you if she tell you the truth, that's what she heard me saying. Not like this. I ain't going out like this. Like a low level punk bitch. Not like this. Not tonight. That's what she heard me saying. God damn it. Now let me revise this. And let me put a makeover on this motherfucker. And get this shit cleared up. But you don't die with no curses on you. No spells on you. No infections on you. No diseases on you. That's a curse. And that's a disfigurement. That's a disrespect. That's a disgrace. That's a dismantling. You don't let nobody take you out of them curses on you. They will follow you. They will follow your bloodline into the underworld and into eternity. And you say you, you want to take my place because you're a younger bitch. Get the fuck out of here. You are not even representing the example of me right now while I am breathing. You can't even endure the horrors that I have endured and lived to tear you about it because I show walked through the valley of the shadow of death that night. And all the weeks leading up to before that court date, but I wasn't going before that court date. And I wasn't going unless I won. Huh? You don't know me too well. So if you want to think you better than me because you're a few years younger than me, or you're in your 20s, your 30s, bitch, come on with it. Because you don't, I'm not jealous of you. I'm not intimidated by you. Anything you can do, I can do better. And whatever you do that I can't, I can learn to do. I can still pop my pussy. I can still open my clothes. I can still lift my leg up real high to my goddamn forehead. I can put some bikini drawers on. I can go swimming and I can still fuck a young nigga, bitch. If that's what I want to do. Y'all not motherfucking finna intimidate me. Now y'all other older women and them call y'all the old bitch and beat y'all. You let them do it to you. But anything you need to improve or regenerate, I don't give a fuck if you do get a face lift, bitch. It's your right to do it. It's your body. You can do what the fuck. You ain't got to look like no old hag if you don't want to. I don't care if you fit the six and you want to get time turned back on your face and your body and your ass and your pussy. And look like you're in your 20s and 30s but be 50 and 60 years old and 70 years old. That's your prerogative to do that shit. To defy age and defy a young bitch that says she better than you. And if you want to have a baby right now, you still can with modern technology. Hmm. Bitch don't motherfucking mean a goddamn thing to me. God damn it. Now, I'm sorry. You know, I, ain't, I ain't getting to it. I'm not going to get into it right now. I'm going to check out my food and clean my, get my coffee because I know I'm going to do my enema and tell y'all how it is. 
Hit my cash up and make it clap, goddamn. We're going to come back. I'm going to get into this Dexter King reading. Because, you know, Coretta Scott King is real upset with Dexter King. Say he was doing reckless, scandalous shit and stealing money and telling lies and sneaking, hiding, and diverting money and stealing shit from the king of state and messing with men's, white men's and the Scientology shit and all this other stuff. They, she said, I told you I didn't want to see you over here, but you done did what I told you not to do and bring yourself. That's what his mama Coretta Scott King saying. MLK been shaking his head for a minute, goddammit, because this nigga been bootylicious for a while. Forgive me, Lord, for saying it. Y'all can prove me wrong. I'm willing to take it back and apologize. But MLK and the motherfucking mama, goddammit, and Yolanda, the other sister that said, this, this motherfucker, he go both way. I know he married with some children. I'm still saying what the fuck I said. They said a the nigga bootylicious in the spirit. But mama King just sh putting his hand down, putting his head in his hand, shake his goddamn head. Like, this is a son I really, and he looked like him, handsome as hell. I seen him a few years ago. I said something about it. I don't know what the video is, but I said, like a fat sissy then. Real fat stomach long. He was sick. I said he was sick all in his guts and all through it. But I wonder what kind of cancer that he had. Because I seen it all inside around the digestive system and colon and hind and all this shit here. Mm-mm. Anyway, let me go in here and get my animal shit together. Get me together. Get me something to eat. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.